now is the time for the first religion to happen. For 300 years, the pseudo-religion have been fighting against science. Now, it is tired, fed up, and knows perfectly well that science is going to win. It has already won. So the old religions have lost their ground, you have to understand it. What you see in the churches and in the synagogues and in the mosques and the temples is the dead body of the religion that once was alive. It is only a car. But they are pretending that it is alive, hoping against hope that some miracle is going to happen. But no miracle ever happens, and no miracle is going to happen. Science has taken firm roots. Now, if you want in the world anything called to be religion, then you have to start from ABC, from the very scratch. A religion which is a science and not a fiction. Just as science discovers in the objective world, outside, religion discovers in the inner world. What science is to the objective existence, religion is to the subjectivity. Their methods are exactly the same. Science calls it observation, religion calls it awareness. Science calls it experiment, religion calls it experience. Science wants you to go into experiment without any prejudice in your mind, without any belief. You have to be open, available. You are not going to impose anything on reality. You are just going to be available to the reality, whatsoever it is. Even it, if it goes against all your ideas, you have to drop those ideas. But the reality cannot be denied. The scientific endeavor is risking your mind for reality, putting your mind aside for reality. Reality counts, not what you think about it. Your thinking may be right, may be wrong, but the reality will decide it. Your mind is not going to decide what is right and what is wrong. The same is the situation of an authentic religion, a scientific religion. If I am allowed, I would like to call 
science has two dimensions, the outer and the inner. The word religion can be dropped. You have two sciences, one objective science, another subjective science. And that's what is going to happen, whether you call it religion or science, does not matter. Names don't matter. But the methodology is exactly the same. You should not go in with a belief. No believer is ever going to know the truth. To believe is to miss. You have to put aside your ideology. Howsoever beautiful it looks, howsoever systematic it looks, howsoever philosophical you have made and decorated it, you have to put it aside and see within. That's the whole method of meditation, awareness, watchfulness. Meditation in sad is putting your mind aside.